Okay, cool. And so I like this one. Phoenix and Jet kind of do the same thing. I feel like Jet works better in maps that have heavy open areas, and Phoenix works better in maps uh, with the ability to come around corners with that that curveball flash. So we see that switch up for the DPS, and then because Jet's gone, you need to pick up the, the smoke elsewhere, which is why we see the Omen player come on through. Uh, switching up from the Sage. So you still have two smokes here. One from Omen, one from Brimstone. But you've changed things up to, you know, perhaps the, the more suited DPS call. Long B is the push. And MMG are, are or Charlotte Phoenix are aware. And they're going to back off just a little bit. MMG still trying to hammer this nail. Yeah. There we go. Oh my gosh. Nice swinging shot coming out from shots. It does get traded away though, but it's K size picking one more up and MMG taking heavy losses over here at B. Looks like one or two players still alive here for Mamba. Critical just barely and scratch that at all. So it's one versus three. Charlotte Phoenix again with the advantage and again with the first round win. Three players standing. No, we were able to talk about the composition for Charlotte Phoenix, but MMG have swapped things up just a little bit as uh, it looks like they did opt for no Sova, and uh, we'll go ahead and pick up the raise instead. That's uh, Riley J picking that up. And uh, like you said, I raise, you know, being picked up by both sides. She's incredibly strong on this map. Just just what her paint shells do post plant or, you know, just entry. It's absolutely absurd. Showers, hookah, U-Haul. Not just things I do on a Friday, but perfect places for Raze to hang out with those abilities. Like right here, Raze just tosses the nade in and there's nothing you can do. You know what I mean? She looks really, really good on this map. Anger walks up, picks off one, can't find the second. Chase has the double barrel. Doesn't get any of them off. Shots on the other hand. Able to assist MMG one standing. I thought they was there too. And that's that. Nice job. Two in a row for Charlotte. Yeah, kind of weird utilization of uh, uh, abilities there because I believe MMG's uh, Molotov from the Brimstone came out on top of the bomb before Charlotte Phoenix were even pushing onto it. Uh, for that post plant. And so that could have been some utility that could have been better suited for later on in the round. But uh, now this is this is going to be the big test. MMG full rifle buy versus Charlotte Phoenix's buy. Now we do have, I believe, an operator um, in the hands of one. Hunt there it is. Down. It's Spirit who's got it. He's going to try and peek out over here long. And this is <clears throat> the right call. Uh, there's the Phoenix coming in through the clutch. But the shot still wins. Spirit was the op player last map. Looks like he's going to reprise that as well. Nice moves from Riley J, though. Good shots. Riley J is the sniper player for MMG. Out of charges. Riley J's dropped down to 2 HP. We'll get healed as they do have it available. Let's see. There we go. We got the Phoenix coming in from Hookah now. They know he's coming this way, but Cherms just is able to get one kill. Don't forget, Riley J was low HP, so that was just spam through the wall real quick. Bomba comes on through. Again, it's a three on three here. Zek cuts it down to just two opponents. And Infamous does the job as well. MMG getting involved a little bit earlier here on map number two than they did number one. So a very, very nice look for Mama. That was a great, great response. Now, I, I think they approached that long B peak um, properly, right? They flash it off and throw down to slow so that uh, whoever's stuck over there can't just get behind cover. They ended up just losing a duel, so Mouse Spirit finds one killed. But in response, MMG end up pushing very heavily through Hookah there. You saw the Raze player coming up from behind, catching both of them out. And so individual play, but along with team play, was uh, really good for that round now. We do have the Bucky here for case sizes. He's just holding in Hookah now. This is usually where you see the shotgun players, Bucky, Judge, otherwise. 
but instead oh, MMG God. are looking to come through long and they're looking to come through fast as well. Here comes a couple of players and the spam through the smoke is unsuccessful. Five players strong. A little bit of nonsense over on the A side, but it's all about B, it seems like. Yeah, Charlotte Phoenix already got the response. They've got three members down here. They've had four just before this, but again, holding that angle with that Bucky inside hookah could be important for the rotations that are coming through. Spirit pushes through the smoke and finds two. There's a player on the other side as well. Spirit walked past one of the guys. Now has to be careful. Comes on in, picks up a gun. Scratch that, the third was taken <laughs> care of by the teammate. There's the shotgun and the long range. So it's a one versus two now. Riley J, as I said, the sniper player by default. So not just substituting on the up. This is a hard one. Angle. Finds the shot. Up and down. Nice job Woo. from Charlotte Phoenix. Not sweating it there, but a wonderful attempt from MMG. Yeah, one of the difficult things for Charlotte Phoenix there is I I don't think they had like 100% vision on bomb and they were trying to play around it for as much as possible. You saw a little bit of a mistake, especially on that Phoenix wall there that gave him the angle to work with. And so this was a little bit closer uh, for Charlotte Phoenix than I think that they wanted. But again, um, this is one of those uh, eco rounds that Charlotte Phoenix really does come back from. MMG, need to be careful on that. Need to give them a little bit more uh, respect on that one because it's oftentimes these eco rounds for Phoenix where they do so much damage to MMG. Oh, no. Right now, oh, here no. the orbital strike. Going to be just barely avoided. That was his own team's orbital strike, by the way. Oof. <laughs> the plan comes through. And it's a four on five. Now Sova has picked off one with the ult. And now it's a three on four. Charlotte Phoenix is still in the advantage. Yeah, I was singing MMG praises before this, and now I kind of want to take it back. You saw there, there were some mistakes. Infamous, though, oh, just pulls off that spray a little bit too early. Try to just at least slow down the uh, defuse. But again, that brimstone ultimate bringing his own teammate down to 50 hp uh, that's that's not a good thing at all uh especially I mean, when there could have been armor in play uh he was maybe like two or three pixels off okay. um from you know trying to clear out u-hauls but again uh i the play is what you just wall off truck um get the yeah. get the orbital strike down mm -hmm. on u-haul and then you push off of that um to gain a bit more control on a but you don't even have to play for you don't even have to play for U Hauls there at that point. Um, but I don't know if it was just a misplay coming out from uh, from the breach or excuse me from the brimstone or from the raise. It could have been either. Really nice recon dart thing. Shock dart. Shock dart. Another one. They're so cheap that you can just toss them out there. Nice spray transfer there. Churns coming on through in the clutch, two in a row. Shot's gonna miss here from Spirit, just firing blindly into the smoke. Chase though, hiding behind the box, now willing to pop up on top. Riley J, looking for a wide flank. <clears throat> and Riley J's done that a few times. <laughs> okay, all right, Chase. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Chase is I mean, excited about that one. <laughs> yeah, these are these are often known angles to at least, you know, be holding and right. uh, such. So not too surprising, but it's still a nice shot. Yeah, it was a, it was it was a small was movement. Said. I'm impressed. <laughs> Sheriff shots are always fun to kind of look at. Time ticking down here for sure. Seven seconds. No, twenty seven seconds, I believe. So we've got Phoenix versus three. Like you said, Phoenix has all the heals in the world, so going to be fine. Dash is on through. Got to get it down. Time in the red. Doesn't even have the spikes, so needs the kills. And uh, I don't think they're coming. Just kidding. Finds one. But that's likely to be it here. Picking up the op is huge. 
That will change things a little bit for MMG. Yeah, I didn't take a look at what Phoenix's uh, money situation was quite like going into that. But hey, never mind. Spare's just going to be able to get another operator right back into things. So we'll see how this one plays out. Last time it was a duel uh, between Sova's, but it's going to be critical to uh, pick up the operator this time around. And I've seen Critical kind of move things around. He's been playing uh, some bathroom over for them as well. But it looks like this time for MMG, it is going to be a push on to the A site. They're going to start at one man down as Anger picks one player off. And a second as well. So nice look. And just like that, defenders are able to quickly take this one away. Man, Charlotte Phoenix just really kind of riding off that momentum for that last round. Now, this is absolutely absurd. They've got six rounds as MMG was only able to pick up one, and that was that rifle round again. But it was that third round rifle, right? After the pistols, after uh, Charlotte Phoenix have already committed into the second round, and so they're going to have some SMGs on their defense. MMG, I, I don't know what they can do to really try and change things up here. As again, they've only found success that one round. Yeah, on the other hand, Charlotte Phoenix have had six go their way. A much different scenario here for our two teams. Charlotte Phoenix starts this one off good. And three for two, make it a four for two. All of a sudden, it's one versus three. MMG, the lone player on their side. Cherm's going to be teaming up with one more to fight down Infamous. Infamous does not have his Odin, and he does not have his life either. Lucky number seven for Charlotte Phoenix. Oh boy, it's looking like we're just completely repeating what happened on Haven here as uh, Phoenix... You know, if they can get 10 rounds and then swap off to the sides, their their offense becomes that much easier. They can go for a lot of cheesy plays. Swapping from the defense to the offense with a huge lead is, is so massive. It's so massive because taking those risks on the offensive end, it can pay off more often times than on the defense, right? On the defense, just by playing default, like you just end up winning rounds. But on the offense, you pull out some cheese. I think, you know, uh, the chances of those winning pretty high yeah uh, i would definitely say so gotta right gotta here. keep those percentage points up right <laughs> but here more percentage points for charlotte phoenix as a kill goes in their direction a lot of ordnance in u-haul man orbital strike comes down but the plant is already on the mark terms coming around finds the molly pusher okay Push or pull was the call, and push was the decision. So another one goes to the Phoenix. Yeah, Charlotte Phoenix is just so good right now. Uh, their reaction to these, especially having, of course, a five-man retake is great, but uh, the timings on a lot of their pushes for these retakes have been absolutely stellar now. As uh, at this point, MMG, oh boy. They're down so far, and they haven't been able to find success. They've been able to get these bomb plants, but what do they do differently? Is it post-plant positions that are really screwing them, or is it just individual duels that are not able to win right now? It's just Charlotte Phoenix on point. It's hard to tell which one it is, because Charlotte Phoenix are doing both correctly. They're winning their duels, yeah. and their retakes are fantastic. I, I think it has much more... MMG has looked better when they've been able to kind of play a little bit more... <clears throat> together i i, I want to say which seems like a big dub charlotte are just winning the gunfights i say as they lose their gunfight there on the entry and, and that seems to be the biggest hurdle for, for me from mmg perspective oh man the duck hunt's good two down on charlotte though mmg still have the advantage they're on the side of the site and they're cutting them down so k size locked in the labs with an op and that's that. Attackers are able to take it. The second round of the contest. So a nice look here from MMG. Jamerson, too little too late or just in time? 
Uh, I I think it's still too little, too late. Um, this is of course uh, that last round was basically a recreation of uh, the first round that they actually won out early on, right? In that third round uh, of this half, they recreated that same thing where um, they push up through uh, through long. Um, they throw it on smoke, they throw it on the flashes, and then they advance. That round, they were stifled by spirit, um, and they were uh, able to come back with a heroic play coming up from the Rays, who got a flank uh, this time around. They're not going to try and recreate that. It's a little bit slower on the push this time. But, hey, it's going to be another B play for them. And it's going to be another entry frag for them. Zek starts it off hot, but the long-range shot from Charlotte Phoenix is going to equalize everything. Three on three. Charlotte trying to joust their way out of this. And another trade is had. One player left. It's Phoenix. Phoenix versus Infamous. The one-on-one. -on -one. Oh. oh. Nice snap. Yeah, K-Size gets spotted out there. And he doesn't have time to get the plant down. But he does at least pick up the operator. And an 8-4 split would be a lot better than what happened last time. Oh, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> a lot of things would be a lot better than the 10-2 half. But <laughs> here's the problem. They just never did kind of critical um, economic damage to Phoenix. Yeah. And Phoenix were just able to continue to buy out, continue to buy out here. And so uh, we're going to see that coming out from them. It's going to be a full rifle round by MMG. They'll have some great tools to work with here. If that Phoenix can really use that right back. But Spirit changes up his angle and is able to get it over at Hookah. And Zek isn't able to get the respawn, the revive, and K-Size comes up huge. Oh, now Phoenix. Hitting the gas. Curveball. Left side. No one in the corner gets the information. Player all the way back at spawns. Shots are going to take the short break and get short down. I don't know what I said, but... I don't know what happened. Player just died there. Dude, it's going to be taken <laughs> down. K-Size finds it. And that's the way to end the half. Oh, oh God. man. Slice and dice, baby. Yeah. That happened. <laughs> we end the half uh, with, with the knife. We don't really get to see that often. But generally... <laughs> You know, when I'm playing Phoenix, that's how it goes. That's <laughs> like I try to find like a nice little pocket for myself so I don't get knifed right when I come back. But every single time, every single time I die on my way back. I got to say, I do got to say it, though. Um, you know. That's the lowest tier knife. The, the, <laughs> the elf sword, lowest tier knife by far. I'm still mad about the hatchet. Riot, if you never bring the hatchet back. Please just hook my account up. The charge down B long is an odd one and an unsuccessful one. Infamous is able to trade twice and a third. And all of a sudden, MMG have the advantage, but K-Size with the flank shows up, puts him down. Mm. 1v1 is taken and K-Size wins it. How did he hit that last one? I did. I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. He's 15, 4, and 1 for the Phoenix player on the Phoenix team. Spirit, the lead of frag, 15, 8, and 3. Why is why is 15, 8, and 3 considered above 15, 4, and 1? The assists, I think. More Just count for more. Valuable. Yeah, I, I think it's more weighted on uh, the combination of assists and kills. Word. Oh. Not great. But a trade out. Chase, however, answers the second one with the stinger. Look at that. The little boy SMG getting the getting the big boy plays. Anger, on the other hand, with the rifle. They would have pick off two as well. Charlotte's still three strong. Dealing with one to make it none. Attackers win. This one goes to eleven. Yeah, it's it's MMG that's running a cipher, but it's anger there that was able to download them and just got that read and just had the perfect angles and held it there. Wow. Charlotte Phoenix. Uh, very rarely do we get through our first best of three within an hour, but here we are. 
And this is, you know, it, it, it's fun. No disrespect to, to MMG. In fact, all respect to the yeah. mama mentality. I, I really, I really, uh, that's something that's near and dear to my heart for sure. But listen, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I just love a good old fashioned beat down sometimes. Is this going to work? Whoa, that's sick. But Shots doesn't care. <laughs> Just walks into the fire. Smokes off back labs. Charlotte Phoenix pushing through here. Gets one. And the trade out is good for Chase, who's on the site. Picks down K size as well. This is the ultimate. Doesn't just feed into the orbital strike. That could have been a bad call. Breach is waiting. Here's a secondary. Two. Make it one left. Zero. Charms. A beautiful play with the Bulldoggy and able to cut him down one away from tournament point. Yeah, I'm so glad uh, that we're seeing a lot more Bulldog play here. Now, of course, this is off the back of kind of just <clears throat> the economy of the early rounds but as we do have the swap offs we got it's plenty over. of vandals in them in play 12 to 3 right now Oof. You, know, you see why i said it's over yep <laughs> i mean mmg this is where Great. they come back from it right i i i still think it's at this point at a 25 percent success rate. i don't know he, he's equipped here it is where's the odin going no one's anywhere near him right now. <laughs> As uh, they're all onto the B site, slowed down once again, of course, uh, by by their own mauling. But K size has already pushed all the way up, and here comes the rotation now. As that Odin moving over to B main, Cherms watching the flank. A couple of people trying to come on through. Here's Zek running around, and that Odin spamming a wall. Pop, pop, comes Spirit. Starts off hot with the op shot. Whoa, good angle from Riley J. Two for the Rays player. Five HP and a dream here. Teammate gone. Riley J, gone. MMG, gone. Charlotte Phoenix moves on to the finals. And that was just a dominant performance coming out from Charlotte Phoenix. And this is kind of what we were expecting. This is a team that have been playing together for quite some time now, practicing together for quite some time. They've oh, yeah. been getting uh, very uh, respectable results throughout um, all the tournaments that have been going across, uh, you know, just haven't been able to make it really uh, it, it, th like strongly through like upper brackets and stuff like that. But we're, we're seeing... Uh, why that this is a name that maybe we should be looking out for more and uh, that maybe yeah. we'll be making some more waves uh, uh